Hey guys, let's see how we can bring Excel information into Revit model using VimLogic Copilot. In here, in this example, I am trying to bring the asset numbers of our terminals sitting in my Excel file into my Revit model. And I want the a project parameter called asset number on their terminals to be updated with those numbers. So let's go and put this prompt in. Open the Excel file named Air Terminal Asset Info located at my C drive test folder and import the Air Terminal Asset Number values from the file. So basically, this is like on a very high level, I'm telling Copilot what to do. Now I'm providing more information about the task. To do this task, find the mark values of the Air Terminals in column A of the Excel file and then import the corresponding asset number from column C into asset number parameter of each air terminal in the project. So on the second step, I give more information about my Excel file and what needs to be done with those information. Now let's look at this prompt in more detail. You can see that I put my file name in quotations. The reason I did that is I want Copilot to do exact search for my file name. If you put anything in a quotation, Copilot would go and make exact search and it's not going to make any assumptions about the name. The other thing was I gave information about my Excel file to Copilot. You know, Excel files can become complicated and complex. So you need to tell Copilot which column it needs to look at or which sheet it needs to look at and stuff like that. I also want to make a couple of tweaks in my command. Instead of typing the parameters in my command, Copilot has got this feature that you can go and search for the parameters in your project and select them. It helps any misspelling or any issues in terms of finding the parameters. So instead of me typing mark values here, I'm just going to go and click add sign and go to the parameter section and find that mark value. And select the mark value here. You can see that Copilot would highlight that parameter for you and it tells you that it found the right parameter. I will do the same thing for asset number. I will just go and click at sign again. Oops. Go to the parameters, search for the asset number and replace those text with the actual parameters in my prompt. Okay. Now let's run this command. While we are waiting for the result to come, I want to make a few notes. If you are importing Excel file or if you're getting Copilot to read an Excel file, you need to make sure that you have full access to that Excel, to that folder, the folder that the Excel file is sitting in. At this stage, Copilot cannot read the values of formulas. So if you got formulas in the cells, you need to make sure that you copy paste the values into another cell and read the values only. If you are getting Copilot to bring some values that has got units into your Revit or checking some of the values against Revit, you need to make sure that you tell Copilot about the units of your, uh, your about the units. The built-in units in Revit are imperial. So if your Excel file, for example, is in SI units, you need to, you need to tell Copilot that the Excel is in SI units. Always give information about your Excel file to Copilot. Tell Copilot which sheet you want to bring, which column you want Copilot to read from. And the last thing is in your command, always use at sign to refer to parameters or find parameters. Okay, Copilot has finished the work. It gives you a report of what has been done. You can see that it's telling you that it has updated or it found 509 air terminals and it updated 509 air terminals in the project. Now let's go and check if the values are updated. So I'm going to go and select this air terminal. I can see that the asset number is updated G-303. If I open the Excel file, so Mark value was 476, so 476, and yeah, 
So the asset number is G303. So the asset numbers are updated and yeah, Copilot has finished the task. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.